So recently I was at NCA Nationals and I took a kit with me. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the kit of things that I take with us whenever we go to competition. In this video, we're gonna break down exactly what is in the kit that I take to every competition and we're gonna go over why these things are essential to have, not only in your gym, but when you travel as well. Okay, so as you can see, we have quite a few things here. Um, each one has a very important and very specific purpose. Uh, throughout a competition, I will most, most likely use everything on the table at least once um, with our athletes. And so we'll kind of start at this end and we'll work our way down. Um, the first thing that you see that most people recognize is gonna be our foam roller. Now this one I love because of not only its shape, but also its size. This is the proper foam roller from properfoamroller.com. The reason I love this is because it has a little bit of a contour, which allows you to get into areas of the body that may be a little bit more challenging with a traditional tube style foam roller. It allows you to get on like the side of your hip, it can let you get into your arm or your elbow a little easier. And the little indentations on top, not super therapeutic in benefit, but it does add a little bit of difference with texture. Um, the other thing I like about this is the size of it and the fact that it's hollow. So I can actually pack things like lacrosse balls, extra rolls of tape, um, and other things like that inside as I'm packing our kit up. So very, very good uh, foam roller here. And if you don't have a proper foam roller or one like this, a traditional style long tube roller, as long as you got space for it, they can work just as well. Additionally, you've seen these in a couple of our videos. These are lacrosse balls. These are very dense, hard rubber balls. Even essentially what these are is a small version of a foam roller. It allows you to get into smaller, tiny spaces, and it's also effective to be used on some bigger areas like rolling your back, rolling out your legs. Um, I love these because I can take a lot with me. I can have you know 10 to 12 athletes at a time rolling with the, the lacrosse balls, and they're easy for me to carry in my pocket in case we're in warm-ups and somebody gets a cramp or something like that. Pull one out, let them roll real fast to get them uh, back on the practice floor, ready to go onto the competition floor. Following the same kind of idea, we have a little bit bigger one called our Orb. Now this is the Orb from the company, um, ProTech Athletics. This is probably one of my favorite tools that I, that I have in my entire uh, kit. And the reason is we get the same benefit as we would from a foam roller, but we also get some of the smaller benefits like we would with a lacrosse ball. So it's kind of that perfect mixture and it has the same density as a foam roller. This is foam, it's not rubber. Um, I like this because for athletes, a lot of times we're looking at hips um, and issues with the hip, issues with the low back. And this thing is really easy to get into like the hip crease with. It also is big enough that we can get on larger areas that we would with our foam roller. So the Orb is one of my favorite tools. I, I really love this one. And they have, the, the company offers uh, two different sizes and they're really, really competitively priced. So definitely wanna have an Orb. Along with the same kind of thing, we have uh, our stick. Now there are a lot of variations of sticks. A lot of, you know, the old school ones had the beads and they were a little bit flexible. Those are good tools to have, but over time they do wear out. So they lose some of the rigidity that they have. This one is called a rad rod. And I love this rad rod because it does not flex at all. It's hard steel and it still rolls uh, just, like, um, just like we would expect with the other stick. This pad is soft, it's not, uh, super hard, does have a little bit of give to it, so it can make getting into some tight areas like your quad or your, uh, your calf make that a whole lot more comfortable. The other cool thing about the Rad Rod is they sell slide-on devices that can actually go over this and rest in the middle, which can give you different, um, different textures, different shapes, things like this. They actually have an attachment that would have like a lacrosse ball in it, and it's really good if you're working with your, like kind of on yourself or if you have somebody else that's rolling you out. So love, love, love the Rad Rod. Another thing that you can make um, that I really, I really like is a peanut. Now what a peanut is, is basically just two lacrosse balls that we tape together. The peanut is great because it essentially gives you the same type of action that our foam roller would, our foam roller would but it's super compact. So every athlete in the gym can have one of these made. You can make it a fun kind of like team building activity where you tape two lacrosse balls together. You can use athletic tape, you can use rock tape, um, you can use duct tape, really anything that can create that shape. And with this, because it's longer, we can use it just like a foam roller. We can get onto some of the longer areas that we wanna roll, but because it's small like a lacrosse ball, we can still use it to get into um, some of the smaller, tighter areas like around the neck and shoulder. And because it has a, a groove, you can also roll down your spine. Very, very helpful to get those tiny muscles along the side of the spine without smashing on the bones. So peanuts, super fun, super effective, and again, a great opportunity to get your team, uh, team building activity to make these with your gym colors. Notice ours is red um, as we're at Stars Vipers. Going back to tapes. So 
I'm a rock tape doc, or as they call it, a rock doc. I'm certified uh, rock tape uh, practitioner. So I love using this product. Um, these are the industrial style rolls, and these are kind of that same thing we talk about. KT tape is another brand. Um, uh, it's basically Kinesio tape. The difference between these tapes and like your traditional white athletic tape is that these are flexible. So once we tear the paper off the back, this can be used um, not quite in the same way that we would use our traditional white athletic tape, which would be more for stability and compression. The rock tape helps with kind of, com you know, kind of compressing on uh, bigger areas. It can help to cue athletes to position shoulders in the right way. And if they have some soreness and muscles um, and things of that nature, we can tape over it and it can help to uh, minimize the soreness or discomfort that they have. So we tape a lot of knees with this. It'll, it provides some compression without being rigid. Um, it gives them an overall feeling of stability and comfort around the knee. Um, again, tried and true, old school white athletic tape. We take dozens and dozens of rolls of this for athletes to tape their wrists, for our guys to tape their hands, keep their hands dry when partner stunning. Um, for some kids that have uh, maybe an issue with a shin splint or something like that, a compressive wrap with that really fast can help tremendously. Um, also with fingers, we can tear the white athletic tape into skinnier strips, which will allow us to tape fingers together. If we have jammed fingers, really helps in a pinch. Um, but typically these are gonna be used for things like our ankle sprains, which unfortunately happen, but um, we have that on hand. Every gym should have ice packs. Always, always, always have an ice pack. These are instant ice packs. Um, if you haven't seen these before, uh, the way they work is there is a pouch inside of the big pouch that when you smash it, it creates a chemical reaction inside that creates a cold compress. They don't last quite as long as a regular gel pack or just straight up ice, but to get a box of these and have them uh, on site with you when you travel, when you go to competitions is very helpful. A lot of times they'll have these um, at the medic table. If you have an athlete that gets injured while they're competing or, at practice, or while they're in warmups, they'll have these on hand, but having an extra box of them in case you're running through things at night um, and something unfortunately happens, um, we wanna have these on hand. And also in the gym, um, it's very, very easy to grab one of these if we have an athlete that gets hurt versus trying to run for um, just a bag of ice. So instant ice packs, fantastic tool to have. We always have these on site. And the last tool I've added to my kit, which I'm really, really excited about, is a massage gun. So these have become really popular um, in sports medicine and in the, the sports and fitness space uh, because of how effective they are at helping with muscle spasming and helping with soreness. Um, I always have one of these with us. If I can take two or multiples, I'll, I'll try to take as many as I can, but I really love these. The athletes love them, the coaches love them. It comes with many different uh, attachments so we can you know, hit different areas of the body, some softer ones if we're looking on some more sensitive areas, um, some more rigid ones if we're trying to get big trigger points, um, and then some broader ones like this to hit big muscles like and our quads or upper back, et cetera. So um, recently started carrying these with us to competitions and the athletes and coaches love it. So it's one thing that we'll likely invest in getting a handful more uh, to make sure that the athletes that need them uh, have everything that they need. So um, again, you know, preparation is key and we always wanna make sure that we have everything that our athletes need, not only when we travel for competition, obviously very important as some of that can be a very high stress situation, but we wanna make sure that our gyms are properly stocked with things like this um, so that when we do have minor injuries and things of that nature, um, that if an athlete's working on recovery or rehab that their doc has prescribed them, we have some of the tools that they may need. And lastly, out of everything I know I said last year, but I completely forgot, um, resistance band. So the resistance band company that I love is TheraBand. They have a huge selection of resistance from you know as low as a couple of pounds up to some heavier resistance. Um, I love this company because they send a big box, a big roll that you can cut to length. These can be used not only for therapeutic and rehab activities, but can also be used um, for strength training and conditioning with your team. If you're limited on equipment, you can get a box that has um, you know, 100 or so feet of this stuff, cut length of, of, of a piece for each athlete, and then with your conditioning, you can add some resistance training versus just simply doing body weight activities. So this is our kit that we use here um, at STARS. This is the kit that I carry with us. Uh, whenever we travel for competitions and things like that. Um, and and I, I truly believe that, you know, again, being prepared to have these things ready for your athlete is, is crucial. And, you know, failing to have these on, uh, on hand, uh, you learn very quickly when you don't have them how much you wish you had them. So, um, again, we'll have links to all of the companies that we use, the brands, the Orb, uh, Proper Roller, Rock Tape, et cetera. So that way, if you're curious about these, you can uh, have a link directly to their site so you can get them for your gym. And if you have questions about any of the things that we talked about today or any suggestions as well, um, I'd love to hear you guys have that you use it that your athletes uh, uh, utilize in, in the gym and also at competitions. Hey guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up and let me know below if you use these products. Are there some that 
We didn't mention that you guys think are extremely beneficial or helpful in the gym because we'd, we'd love to know those things because maybe we'll add them to our kit as well um, and help to keep our cheer community fit and healthy. If you'd like more videos like this, click the link above. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, there's gonna be a link right here. Click that and make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you know when we come out with new videos. We'll catch you on the next one.